everyone, it's Meg Healy here in my new studio that I'm so excited to really make my own. I know it's looking a little bare, but I have the perfect thing to fill this space. I set up two desks side by side so I can sew and embroider at the same time on the same table so I can keep an eye on both. I have my designer sapphire behind me and I got sent a brand new Epic 95Q sewing machine from Husqvarna Viking that I'm gonna unbox for you and we'll try out some stitches and see how it looks in the new space. Oh, I just love opening a new box. Let's see here. Oh, cool, a little case that'll keep it nice and safe from dust. Oh yes, look at all this fun stuff. Alrighty. Styrofoam, matches my crops. <laughs> okay, now for the heavy duty part. love that it's so heavy. That means a lot of nice metal parts and it's going to be nice and heavy duty. So I have my machine out and all the packaging removed. There was nice secure tape holding the arm and this top piece right here. And I love all of this storage for all of the feet, which I'm very excited to go through, as well as bobbins and extra storage in the back too. And what I really love is, I always forget how much room this has. Like even with this arm taken off, look at how much space you have even underneath for cuffs and sleeves. Hemming is gonna be so, so easy for sure. All right, I'm excited to turn this on. There we go. Having not sewn on this particular machine, and any machine um, for that matter, moving and all, I always forget how big and how much information is on the screen. So much awesome, awesome stuff. Like you can choose which fabric that you're sewing which, with, which type of seam application, so it can help you through, as well as a hem finish and a collar. I really haven't explored all of these techniques. Uh, I've definitely utilized the invisible zipper tutorial as well as the fly front, but if you want to sew a centered zipper, I just love playing around with it. It's like getting a new computer, not just a new sewing machine. So it walks you through everything. There's so many tutorials. Uh, this is one of my favorite things about this machine. It's great for beginners and great refreshers for advanced sewers like look at this so cool it gives you that step and you go to the next and then it loads the stitch so awesome but now it's not threaded yet I just took it out of the box and I haven't even sewn anything in my new studio yet so we're gonna sew something right now <laughs> well just test sew I'm just going to go to the home screen and just refresh myself how I even thread this machine. <laughs> and I love how the user guide is built right into the machine. This is one of my favorite functions of these, um, these screens and these like smart machines for sure. So I'm gonna go back here and just for threading. So let me go down to the T's. Threading the upper thread. So there we go, there's some nice visuals too. So I'm just gonna scoot this over. And what I've really missed about this machine and any machine in particular that has this feature is the automatic needle threader. So you go up and then through here and then that. You press this needle button. And look at that, ta-da! It threads your needle for you, which is so fun. So now let's get sewing something. I have this scrap fabric. I mean, a lovely little bunny, bunny print. I'm just gonna fold it in half. Test out a stitch. 
stitch. So it's a woven medium. So I've selected woven medium. And then I can just select start new. It's kind of, um, you can tweak whatever you want in here. So it tells you, you know, what needle, uh, if you want to have this engaged, which I love having this engaged. It's like a built-in walking foot. Let's just try sewing something. Ah, oh, it's the first time stitching something since I've moved in. Oh, oh yeah, this machine goes so fast. And then you just put, put your needle in and lift it. It does an automatic little lift, so it makes pivoting super easy. You just do a little tap with your foot. There we go. Ta -da. So many fun things to do if you want to use stretch fabric, vinyl, leather. Um, waistband I could go on and on and on oh I'm so excited to finally have this out of the box and I can do some sewing my new studio is feeling a bit more settled in now that I have my brand new machine all set up and it's all threaded to lime green too so I better Oh, I, I have lots of lime green fabrics to choose from. And speaking of sewing in lime green, I know in 2021 on Sew Daily Network, we did fashion sketching live. In 2022, we're gonna try something different and it's called fashion sewing live. So you'll see me settle into my new studio, see what I'm working on, be a fly on the wall. I'll have a camera on my machine as well as my cutting table. You can just watch me sew. You can ask me questions. You can just sew along so we can all sew together and you never know what's gonna happen. So just tune in every month on Sew Daily Network and if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so so you never miss another video. I'm gonna get back to my machine because I think that was the last box I had to unpack, which is very exciting. I hope you all had a happy new year, happy holiday season, and let's get sewing in 2022. Bye.